Welcome back to Market Day Report. I'm Scott Shelley, otherwise known as the cow guy. Uh, and we're here to keep an eye on these markets. It's been a crazy couple of days, starting with maybe Wednesday night going into Thanksgiving. We've been all over the place. Let's kind of take a look because these markets are your money, and I know how important that is. How about taking a look at corn here? Uh, the front month's okay. F March is up two and three quarter cents at 570 and a quarter. May is up two and a half at 572 and a half. But as you go out the deferreds, we start to lose some real estate there. But uh, we'll take that board. It's an up board. How about soybeans? What does that look like? Uh, we've lost a couple of cents here. So we've got the jam beans down a quarter at 12.17 even. Just off the lows, though. March off two cents at 12.24 and a half. So that's something that we have to keep an eye on. That soybean board is a little disconcerting. What about uh, wheat in Chicago? Uh, here we go. March is up four cents at 7.91 and a quarter. We've got May up three and a quarter cents at 7.97. Uh, let's move along to the hard red wheat in Kansas City. What does that give us? That's a, a weaker board here. Look, March off six and a quarter cents, eight sixteen evens. Last May is off five and a quarter at eight sixteen and three quarters. So hard red wheat struggling as well. Let's see if we got anything in Minneapolis to talk about. This one's lower. March is off three and a quarter cents in spring wheat, Minneapolis. It's at ten dollars six and uh, three quarters. Uh, May has lost that $10 handle. We're at $9.96, even off $0.04. Cents. So the only one, March has still got the $10 handle, but it's uh, threatening. We're still about $0.05 cents off the lows, but that's something to keep an eye on as well. And let's see what's happening to cotton. Initially, we came back a little bit better, but now we've given it all away. 35 points lower in that March contract at 106.06. So kind of flirting on either side of unchanged and that cotton board. Still kind of quiet, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, let's take a look uh, at what our next guest analyst has to say. That's uh, Todd Horowitz from Bubba Trading. Uh, he's uh, joining us from Las Vegas. Uh, Todd, thanks for being on the show. It's been a, a really volatile time, as I'm sure you're aware. Uh, what, yeah. are you, what are your thoughts uh, going into the rest of the week here and into the holiday season, for that matter? Well, Scott, I think, you know, the, I think we've seen a little bit of a turn in beans, and I think they're a little bit negative at the moment. You know, from Monday, we were very positive, and, you know, a little bit of heavy selling kind of makes it a little bit more negative. You know, we've got a thin market, although there is some action, and, you know, you've got Powell and Yellen speaking today, and, and there's too much Fed speak, which doesn't necessarily correlate right to the grain markets. But it creates to the financial industries, which does done can relate back to grains. They look a little bit sloppy in here. Uh, you know, I'm still fairly comfortable and in, in, in positive corn and, and wheat. Uh, but it, again, there's some concern out there, and there's some concern with the economy. You know, anytime there's too much Fed speak, that means that they're trying to, in my opinion, trying to cover something up or trying to defend against some potential problems. So I think there's some issues out there, but we look pretty good, except with the exception of beans right now. You know, just off topic a tad, um, what's your view of the economy as a whole, Todd? I mean, everybody's trying to tell me that it's it's just on fire and rip-roaring ahead. What do you think? I think we're in big, big trouble, Scott. I think that this is, you know, somebody asked me the other day, is there, what, what is good about it? I said, I couldn't think of anything good. I couldn't even think hard to find something that I felt good about. I'm very nervous and very concerned about what's going on here. And, you know, the, the continued adding of trying to add the money supply and trying to manipulate the rates is a disaster, along with everything else that we're doing. I'm concerned and I'm worried about it because this inflation is a much bigger problem than anybody talks about. And it's very they can fix it in a minute, but they won't do that, which is even a bigger concern. Yeah, I agree. You know, and when it comes to the economy, I am in the camp of I'm concerned as well. I don't think it's, it's doing as anywhere near what they're saying it's doing. And a lot of the talking heads are trying to tell me that it's, like, like I said, on fire. I don't see that. And I think that uh, the scare that we saw in these markets yesterday after Powell said he was going to really step up that taper and maybe get to raising interest rates sooner rather than later. I mean, that's my, that, that's my concern. You could see, yeah, we could we could take care of inflation by killing the economy. <laughs> I mean, that's well, what I'm looking well, at here, right? Well, we, could, we could open up the oil wells and, yeah. and, and re go back to producing, but we're not going to do that. This, you know, the, when, when you get too much politics involved in an economy, it's going to be a mess, and that's what we have. And unfortunately, you know, between the Fed and the policies that we have, it's it's a problem. And yep. I think the economy's got some big, big problems. And I'm sorry to say that because obviously I always want to be confident and positive, 
but I'm I'm concerned, and I think that it's gonna come, it's gonna come on the roost at some point here. I agree. I agree. I'm concerned as well. All right. Thanks, Todd. That's Todd Horowitz thanks. from Bubba Trading coming to us from Vegas. We're going to go away, pay some bills, and come back and talk livestock after these messages.